Hello students, welcome to Narayan Singh College of Online Classes. In the previous episode we completed electrochemistry theory, and in today's episode we will start a objective question from electrochemistry. Let us turn to our materials, uh, volume four, volume four, page number forty-seven, electrochemistry, level one. You see this one. So we will see the first one here, exercise level one. See the first question. Which statement is not correct? So the first option is given. Conduction of an electrolyte solution increases with dilution. Conduction of an electrolyte solution decreases with dilution. Specific conductance of an electrolyte solution decreases with dilution. Equivalent conductance of an electrolyte solution increases with the dilution. So this question mainly based on the conduction concept only. Conductance of a solution generally increases with the dilution. So first half is given conductance increases with the increase in dilution. Already detailed basically this concept in your regular class itself. Okay, dilution. What is dilution? Dilution means adding of the water. During the dilution, what happened here? The concentration of the solution is decreases. But the ions can move freely in the solution, and the movement of ions freely, when the movement of ions increases the solution, conduction is what increases. So conduction is what here increases. So this is a correct statement for first option. And the second option you can see conductance of an electrolyte solution decreases with dilution. So conductance decreases. Conductance of a solution decreases. With the dilution, already we told here conduction is increased with dilution. It is not decreased with what dilution only. So second statement is a wrong statement. Also, see the third statement and fourth statement also. Uh, specific conductance of electrolyte solution decreases with the dilution. You know conductance increases, but specific conductance is what decreases only. Why? Because uh, the ions can be present in a specified unit area of the solution. In that area of the solution, number of ions per volume is what decreases only. Thereby, specific conductance is what decreases. Okay, conductance is increases. Specific conductance is what decreases with what dilution. Next one, you can see equivalent conductance of an electrolyte solution increases the dilution. Equivalent conductance, molar conductance, and the conductance of an electrolyte solution increases the dilution. One is decreased. That is what specific conductance of the solution only. In this, they ask you which statement is not correct. Option two statement is the not correct for this one. So we take option two for this question only. This is the question number one we have. Now we can go for the question number two. The resistance of zero point zero one thermal solution of an electrolyte was found to be two ten ohm at two nineteen kelvin using a conductivity cell of of a cell constant zero point six six centimeter inverser. The equivalent conductance of the solution they asking for. So what they asking here? Wait a minute. They asking equivalent conductance. So what are the equivalent conductance formula we have? K into thousand by normality. You know this formula. Here, what is given? They given normality. The normal is given zero point zero one, and the resistance all is all given. That is a two ten ohm. And one more cell constant. G star is given. G star is given 0.66 centimeter per ohm. What is required for the, if you want to calculate the equivalent conductivity, we have to find out first K that we are calling as a conductivity one. So what is the relation between this conductivity and resistance and the cell constant G star here? Okay. okay. I have a you know one relation here. G star is equal to K into R. Conductivity into resistance only. If you want to find out K, what you get man? G star by R. What is G star? Cell constant. Or what is the G star value given? This is given 0.66. This is centimeter inverse by resistance is given how much man? 210 ohms. How much is given? 210 ohm only. If you write this one, this is 0.66. This is a centimeter inverse, and this is ohm inverse by you will get it how much here? We have two times that the resistance is given. Now we will see this calculation part. 
you will get it here 3.14 into this you will get 3.14 into this 10 power minus 3 this is centimeter first and ohm inverse you are getting so we are finding over here k ohm k is there normality is there then you can do this formula equivalent conductivity that is equal to again I am writing the formula k into 1000 by normality and ohm what is the k value we got? we got this is a 3.14 into this is 10 power minus 3 into 1000 by normal is given 0 0.01 0 0.01 so what you get here this I will write here 3.1 this is 3.14 and this is 3.14 10 power minus 3 10 cube ok we okay, get this one so then what you get here I will get here this 0 0.01 so approximately I get how much more here 340 but here you can see what are the units of the compound here already what are the units of the k we have k units we have exact units here k units what we have this is centimeter per person ohm inverse so I will write this one this is centimeter per person into emh ohm by of the ohm we are writing what here mh ohm and here this volume is given that you are writing what is in the metal of ohm ok I will suppose I am taking the equivalence here what I am writing here this is a centimeter per person into mh ohm into this is a centimeter cube by normal we want to have an equivalent form ok then what you will get here you will get here emh of centimeter square equal to this is unit swap the all right units what you will get this is 340 emh of this is centimeter square and equal to this form so this is the equivalent rate of the solution of me so what answer you will take? You will take uh, first option 314.28 mHO centimeter square equal to inverse. So this is question number 2. Now you will see the question number 3 we have. Question number 3 is asking the molar conductance at infinite dilutions of AC and O3, AGCL and NACL are 116.5, 121.6 and 110.3 respectively. The molar conductance of Na and O3 they are asking for. The molar conductance and confined dilutions are given for which one? AC and O3, NaCl and AgCl. They are asking here. molar conductivity for the Na and O3 they are asking only. So this is a question mainly based on the old rational. The limiting molar conductivity of an electrolyte is the sum of the contributions of individual anions and cation that we are calling as a old rational only. So first time writing what is given here. The given limiting molar conductivity is for which one man? AC and O3. So AC and O3 given first rate 116.5 and one more we have ATCL. These are the limiting molar conductivity of ATCL that is given 121.6 and one more NACL. Limiting molar conductivity of NACL is given 110.3 All I write here is the limiting molar conductivities of the compound circuit. What they ask here, they have to give the molar conductivities of which one? They ask me for which one? NA, PN1. They ask me. Limiting molar conductivities you can find out for which one? PN1. How will you get the NA and O3? So I will write here limiting molar conductivity of NA and O3. I will write here. Limiting molar conductivity of NaCl and I will give here limiting molar conductivity of AC and O3 and the limiting molar conductivity of AgCl. AgCl. How we are writing? How we can write here? This is lambda naught and A plus lambda naught Cl minus plus. This is lambda naught Ag plus plus lambda naught and O3 minus minus of lambda naught of Ag plus and lambda naught of Cl minus. We can expand the term like this. What is cancel here? AG plus AG plus cancel here. CL minus CL minus cancel. What are the remaining terms we have? Lambda naught of NA plus you can write. And this is lambda naught of which one? NO3 minus. We are right. What are you getting finally? Lambda naught of which one? You are getting molar. Limiting molar conductivity of which one? NA and what are you getting What are the NACL value we have? The NACL value that is 110.3. And silver white value we have 116.5. Okay, first one NaCl and then 0.3. 
and AZ only we have 116.5 minus ATC and we have which is 121 point so many so all together we get up to this here and that not 5.2 so this is the limiting molar conductivity for which one man NA and one so what are you take you take option 2 for this question see the next question question number 4 the equivalent conductivity of 0.1 normal acidic acid at 25 degrees Celsius is 80 and at infant dilution is 400. The degree of dissociation of uh, acidic acid is no. So, degree of dissociation is equal to alpha omega. What is the alpha formula we have? Alpha is equal to molar conductivity by limiting molar conductivity. Limiting molar conductivity means you are measuring at the infant dilution omega. So, what is the molar conductivity given by the equivalent conductance of a dilute solution of 0 0.1 R plus in case of 25 degrees of much 80 ohm by identified dilution is what here 400 ohm. So, what do you get by here? 80 by 40 that you will write 1.1 by 5 means how much we have? 0.2 ohm. So, what is the answer for this question? 0 0.2 is the answer. So, what is the equivalent conductivity? So, the equivalent conductivity is given in and the identified dilution point is given, they given 400 ohm. I take the molar conductivity, you can take the equivalent conductivity, what you can write here, you write here alpha is equal to uh, equivalent conductivity by equivalent conductivity at the infant dilution. So, see the next question, question number 5. The process in which chemical change occurs on passing electricity. If the electricity is passed, there is a chemical reaction takes place. What process that is electrolysis? What is electrolysis man? When electricity passes the electrolyte solution, that electrolyte can be dissociated into its individual ions from the gases. Okay, when we are supplying electricity, in this what happened here? The chemical compound, okay, what do you get here? Here chemical change takes place only the electrolyte will split to give a new ions or we can say new compounds are what are the process? The process we are calling as the electrolysis. So, this is the next one here. The amount of an ion discharge during electrolysis is not directly proportional to is not directly proportional to. You see the Faraday first law. What is the Faraday first law? Generally, W is there. W generally, uh, what is the statement we have? The amount of the substance deposited cathode is directly proportional to is directly proportional to current path of the solution. Of generally, we are writing here W. Uh, directly proportional to Q here W is equal to some Z into Q W is equal to Z into I into Q Okay, from this I am writing here W directly proportional to current W directly proportional to time and W directly proportional to Z What is Z man? Z is Z. electrochemical equivalent no? Electrochemical equivalent Now what is the question they ask here? Amount of the of an ion discharge during electrolysis is not directly proportional. It is directly proportional to the time. It is directly proportional to the time. It is directly proportional to the current. It is directly proportional to what electrochemical equivalent, but it is not directly proportional to the resistance. So, so from this you can say option which is option is not there. Resistance is not directly proportional to what? Amount of the ion discharge. So, what answer you will take? You will take option 1. Resistance is not dependent. Resistance is the answer. It does not depend on this uh, amount of the uh, substance before the cap. Now, we can see question number 7. Question number 7 also we have direct question only. Faraday law of electrolysis is related to Faraday law of electrolysis is related to atomic number of a cation. Equivalent weight of an anion, equivalent weight of an electrolyte, speed of the cation. In electrochemistry, we are Faraday's law, so we are talking about the electrolytes only. So, Faraday's law of electrons mainly related to what? Equivalent weight of the electrolyte. You can take the Faraday's second law, what is here? Amount of the mass deposited during electrons is directly proportional to what? Equivalent weight of the substance. We can go for the Faraday's second law. What answer will take? You will take option 3, that is equivalent weight of the electrolyte. So that is our question number 7, direct question we have. Next we can see question number 18 we have. Number of electrons involved in the electrodeposition of 63.5 grams of the copper from 
solution of copper sulfate 63.5 grams of the copper from solution of the copper sulfate only. so what is the solution we have copper sulfate only. copper sulfate dissociate to cu plus 2 and so 4 minus 2 cu plus 2 so 4 minus 2 okay? so deposition of the copper means generally here deposition of the copper means uh, cu plus 2 uh, gain to electrons copper is what is the deposition? Man? Copper is deposited. Now here, what are the question? Number of electrons involved in the deposition of 63.5 grams of the copper. 63.5 grams of the copper. They are asking only. So generally, they are asking here number of electrons. They ask number of electrons involved. Number of electrons involved in the deposition. In the Deposition of 63.5 grams of the copper. So, generally, 63.5 grams of the copper means we have generally one mole only. One mole value of a number of the electrons that is 1.6.02 into 10 to the power 20th electrons are there. Suppose I am here copper. Generally, 63.5 copper can be deposited. Generally, 63.5. Uh, 63.5 grams of the copper requires uh, how many farads of the charge means uh, I will write this one 2 into 2 farads of right How much you are writing for 2 farads So 63 point is what is 1 mole only no? 1 mole of copper deposit what is required here 2 farads of the charge is required no? 2 farads of the charge is required So I am writing here means 2 farads you know what is the farad value you have You know this one 2 farads means here 2 into 9 6 uh, Find out the generally you have is the ratio you have to use. One mole of copper requires how much here? One mole of copper requires uh, two farads of the electricity moment. But here one mole of generally, okay, generally 63.5 grams of sub 63.5 is generally here. If you take one farad, if you take how much here? One farad I am taking here. One mole of copper. One mole of copper in the sense what I wrote here? I wrote here 63.5. Now see here, one mole of copper generally requires two electrons only. Two electrons I will take here, two into avocado number of electrons only. That I am adding here, two into avocado number of electrons. Then you can do multiply this one, two into 6.0, two into 10 power 23. Then you can here, four, 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 zero. And this one, this is into 10 power 23. 12.04 equal to 10 power 20. Simple one you can say here, 63.5 grams required, two fire, two fire in the sense, uh, two electrons are required. Okay, two electrons are required. The two into what here? Six point zero two into ten power twenty three. How much you get? Twelve point zero four four into ten power twenty three. Okay. So, what is the answer you take here? You take uh, option three for this question. Now, come to question number nine. We have when one group of electricity pass through an electrolytic solution, the mass of deposited an electrode only. One group of electricity pass through the solution. What they ask me? What is the mass of uh, uh, mass deposited at that point. If you take the fact that first of all, the expression is generally W is equal to, you know, here, uh, what are you getting here? Uh, some uh, Z into I into your T we are taking only. But what is said here? Suppose I am taking W is equal to what is that I am getting here? W is equal to equal to I into I into T by this you are writing 96500. Now what they are sending here? They are sending how much are here? They are sending what? Well, one group of electricity can be passed through the solution. So generally, if you write the formula like this here, W is equal to Z into Q. Okay, from this I am writing W is equal to Z into Q. If you want to pass uh, one coulomb of electricity, one coulomb of electricity, the mass of electrode deposited on the mass of electrode here. What you are telling here, suppose one coulomb of electricity, suppose I am telling here. Okay, suppose uh, Q is equal to 1, then what you getting here? Number is equal to Z. What is said here? That is what? The electro chemical equivalent. This is what I can say. This is what? Electro chemical equivalent rate of So, what is your answer? Your answer is what? Electro chemical equivalent rate Simple question. You are taking expression. So, in the place of Q, you are taking I into Q, you are taking Q is equal to 1. Then W is equal to what? Z. When it is possible, then what is said here? That is what? Electro chemical equivalent rate So, what answer will take here? We will take option 3 for this uh, question number 9. Next we can see question number 10. We have. 
What is question number 10? When one farad of electricity can be passed to the uh, pass it to the mass of the deposit equal to one farad of electricity can be passed through the solution. The mass of deposited. Okay, suppose I am taking here frame. W is equal to uh, Z into Q. I am taking here. What is Q here? Charge only you are taking here. How much you are sending here? <coughs> the charge you are sending what not? One Faraday warning. What you are taking here? Charge you are passing how much? Charge you are passing what here? One Faraday. One Faraday means what you are taking? 96500 or you can take 96487 or you can take. Same expression of some language one. When one parallel of electricity can be passed through that solution, the mass of deposit, one parallel can spend, how much deposit? One equivalent weight of the substance is what? Deposit only. Equivalent weight, what is the concept here? You know what is the equivalent weight, man? Equivalent weight is equal to, you know, this is the molecular length by EN factor. If you are sending one parallel, how much you are absorbing here? One gram equivalent weight of the substance is deposited. 1 gram of the substance is deposited. Okay, so that we are seeing in the form of which one not doing that. In C, option 1 is the answer for this question number 10. See the next question, question number 11. On passing one fire of electricity through a diode solution of an acid, the volume of hydrogen gas obtained at MDP. We are passing one fire of electricity through a diode solution. Of an acid, the volume of the hydrogen can be obtained at and take you off. If it is general acid, what is acid? General acid has what I is not H plus ion. So if you take generally HCl, suppose I am taking here, HCl dissociated to H plus and water, Cl minus one. So this H plus ions are there. Suppose I am taking here H plus ions gain on an electron is converted into H two solid. Suppose I am taking here 2 H plus, it gain on electrons, no? 2 electrons, it is converted into what here? H2 only. Suppose I am taking only 1 H plus, 1 H plus gain 1 electron converted into what here? This is not H2. Generally, this is the reaction to H plus. Now, we are on passing one fan of electricity through this uh, dilute solution of an acid, uh, the volume of the gas obtained as water. Clear? Volume of the gas only. Suppose you are taking here, how many electrons are involved here? One electron only that we can take in as what here? One farad. So generally volume and STP, or you can say volume and MTP. Generally how much here? 20. Generally if you see the after volume of ML is given, I will end this one 22,400 electrons. If we take one mole, one mole means occupies here, one mole gas means that is 22,400 ml here. How many moles is found here? We are sending one farad of electricity. So the volume and LTP how much here? 22,000 how much? 400 ml only. So now they ask for which one here? What are the volume here? Here the gas is found how many moles? 1 by 2 mole. If we take for 1 by 2 moles of H2, the volume. At NTP is equal to, I will write this one, 1 by 2 into 22,400 ohm. So, what you will get here? 11,200 ml. How much you are passing here? Passing 1 farad of electricity. Only 1 farad of electricity occupies here. 1 mole, that 1 mole of gas of SDP occupies, or NTP occupies 22,400 ml. So, we got half mole, half mole means. Okay, half of the value, so we get here 11,200 ml. We will take option 4 for this question. Now we can see question number 12. W grams of the copper deposited in a copper voltmeter when electric current 2 ampere is passed for 2 hours. If 1 ampere current is electricity passed through for 4 hours in the same voltmeter, the copper can be deposited. Initially, W copper is deposited. Okay, by taking how much ampere current? Current is 2 ampere, the time is 2 hours. If 1 ampere current, okay, in this next one we are sending, they are sending only 1 ampere current, and time is 4 hours only in the same voltmeter, the copper can be deposited by passing 2 1 ampere current at what? 4 hours of the time. We have to identify what are the relation between W and one more W with the 2 ampere and 2 hours time 
and how much amount of the substance is deposited by passing one of their what four hours their time. So I will use one formula here. I will take this one. Uh, w one by so W two is equal to I will write here Q one by Q two. Q one by Q. So generally what is Q one here? Q is equal to you know I into Q is equal to I into T. From this you will write W one by W two is equal to I into T. The first by I into T for the second I. Initially the copper is deposited W comes on this W two by W two is equal to what are the initial uh, time of the uh, and the current is given by this two day and get hours on it and you will write here two hours the three hours is at point two second because uh, both the denominator and dominant and numerator will get both hours are there on it so I will write here two into two directly by current is one and get time is how much here four hours on it or you can write here two into sixteen to sixty four into sixteen to sixty will get will cancel that one. So from this what you get by here W by W two. We are doing it to four only. Then what you get here one only. So W two is equal to what? So how much of uh, weight of the copper deposit? The same copper deposit that is what W two times four. So this is we have question number twelve. We take option one. Now we see question number thirty. Three point one seven grams of the substance is deposited by flow of. Uh, Zero point one mole of electrons. The equivalent weight of the substance is asking. The equivalent weight of the substance is asking. Three point seven grams of the substance was deposited by flow of zero point one mole of electron. So this is three point one seven grams deposited by flow of one mole. This is zero point one mole of electron. So what they ask here? What is the equivalent weight of the substance asking? Equivalent weight of the substance as clear. So we can directly generally if you apply normal method here, three point one seven gives zero point one mole of electron. If you take one mole of electron, how much you are getting? You are getting the thirty one point seven. This is we can say generally equivalent weight of the substance. So this is the direct method. Also. So what the indirect method is there? In this indirect method. We can use the formula here. What is the formula? And W two is equal to what you can write here. We will write Z into Q only. So this W two is equal to what is Z here? Z is only what much? That is equivalent weight only. That is Z into what is Q here? Q means charge only. So charge for what here? This is zero point one into that is one more. This is six point zero two two into this is ten four twenty three into and what is the charge of one mole of electron? So what you can write here, uh, weight. I uh, can take this is equal to what you write down. This is equal to what is it? Z is equal to what you write here. This is equal to what you write down. So this is the weight of the element is uh, how much? Three point one seven. Three point one seven is equal to we have equivalent weight into this is six point zero two two into this is ten four twenty two into one point six zero two two into this is ten four minus ninety by Nine six five double zero. How much man? Nine six five double zero. If you do the calculation, you will get the answer for this one. So, what is the answer you will get here? Six here. This is a three point one seven. That is equal to you write here. This is Z into this is a nine six four seven point two by nine six five double zero. So Z approximately you will get here three one point seven zero nine. How much will you get? That is six point seven thirty one point seven zero nine. So directly this is the answer. If you want to apply the method, you can follow like this. So you are getting what here? This is Z by you are getting here nine six five double zero. So this is the answer for question number thirteen. What is the formula you have here? W is equal to E into Q by W is equal to Z into Q by nine six five double zero. By using this formula, you can find out or you can directly find. So this is we have question number thirteen. Now the next question we have question number three. 
Question number 14. A current of 0 0.5 ampere when passed through the silver nitrate solution for 193 seconds to deposited 0 0.108 grams of the silver, the equivalent weight of the silver, the astronaut. So, this is also related to Faraday Fosla. So, what is the Faraday Fosla expression I am writing here? So, weight is equal to, I am writing here, the equivalent weight into I2D by uh, this is EN into, or you can say the equivalent weight you can take into what you write here, this is a uh, 96500, uh, I am writing only. So, here uh, the current is 0.5 ampere, pass through the silver nitrate solution for 119 seconds, 93 seconds, deposit mass how much? 0 0.108. This is 0 0.108 is equal to this is equivalent weight into what is the current we have? The current is 0 0.5 ampere, and the time is given 193 seconds by. Uh, 96500. So, equivalent weight is equal to 0.108 into this is a 9670 by this is 0.5 into 983. So, if you solve this question, you will get here 1 and 8. Simple. How we get the simple method here? What the solution is given? The solution is given silver nitrate. Silver nitrate, what you get here? AC plus and what mark? NO3 minus. What are the change in here? AZ plus is there. AZ plus can be deposited to AZ by gaining of electrons. One electron for me. So AZ plus gain of electron converted into what? AZ. What the end factor? One only. What are the weight of silver? Silver weight is 1 at 8. Okay. How okay, can you find the equivalent weight mass? Equivalent I am writing here. Equivalent weight is equal to what you can write here? I will say here generally if you want to find out the equivalent what is required here. What is required of molecular weight band factor? What is the molecular mass we have? This is 1 at 8 by 1. How much we have? 1 at 8. Simple method is if you want to solve, you can solve like this one. So, this is a question number 14. What is the answer you got? You got option 2, that is 1 at 8. This is the next question number 15. The amount of electricity that can be deposited uh, 1 at 8 grams of the silver from silver nitrate solution. Uh, you can see this is like previous question. Silver nitrate solution we have. Silver nitrate is also to be Kg plus and NO3 minus. Here, AC gain one electron converted into AC. Converted into what here? AC. So, generally, what is the weight of silver? 108 grams of silver requires how much of here? One parallel electricity. One parallel electricity. Here one electron change is there. That is one parallel for me. So what times you will take? You will take option 3. That is a one parallel. See question number 16. We have one parallel of current was passed through electrolytic cell in a series containing uh, solution of Ag plus, Na plus 2 and Cr plus respectively. The amount of uh, the amount of silver deposit silver, nickel and chromium will be deposited on. Same quantity of electricity can be passed to the different electrolytic solution connected in a series. Whether it is a Faraday first law, Faraday second law, it is a Faraday second law of electrolysis. What is the Faraday second law of electrolysis man? So, weight of the substance is directly proportional to what man? Equivalent weight of okay. So, from this you will write W is equal to E, you can type out. Okay, W is equal to E. Okay, so what are the equivalent formula generally? Equivalent weight is equal to what you can say here? Weight by, I will write it and that out. They ask the equivalent weight of which one? They ask the equivalent weight of AG plus. And one more we have Ni plus 2. Okay, they give 2 plus means Ni plus 2. And they give it one more here CR plus 2. If you find out the equivalent weight of AG plus. Equal to rate of AG plus is equal to rate of AG how much given? 1 and 8 by and that this one because there is a change in 1 electron only. So this will get how much here? 1 and 8. If you find out here NA plus 2, equivalent rate of NA plus 2, what is the dynamic rate of nickel is given? 59. This is 59 by 2. Then what do you get by here? This is 29.5. If you take the chromium here, so I will write here equivalent weight of 
chromium plus the chromium how much given by the given 56 na 52 okay so this is a 52 by the is given only so here uh, this is one and seven this is a 17 point for what answer will take one and eight 29.5, 17.4. We take that option of moment. So this is related to which one? This is related to parallel yes. second yes. half. Yes. So this is question number 16. Yes. Next question number 17. Uh, three Faradays of electricity can be passed through the solution of yes. iron to bromide. The mass of yes. iron metal can be deposited at the cathode. Yes. They are passing three Faraday of electricity yes. by taking a solution of which one? Iron to bromide. I need to go back to see here here uh, I need to go back here so here what the operation state of iron is operation state of iron is to this I think I need to go back that this will see it to give this is a uh, fee plus 2 plus 2 br minus 1 fee plus 2 what's my here 2 br minus 1 this is a fee plus 2 gay to the electrons what is deposit for here iron is deposit what are the mass of iron generally? What are the mass of iron already given? The mass of iron is given 56 so I will write here 56 grams of iron requires how many electrons? 2 electrons. 2 electrons means that is 2 fire so This requires how many fire is here? 3 fire so But in the question they given now 3 fanates of current over pass one. They are passing how much part here? 3 fanates they are passing here. They are asking how much amount of iron can be deposited. So you will write what here x into 2f 2 parents is equal to this is a 56 into what now 3 parents only so x is equal to 56 into 3 parents by this is 2 parents so 5 parents cancel here how many times you cancel here this is 2 and this is 8 so the x is equal to 28 into 3 so x is equal to here 24 and 2 here how many grams ma we are getting 8 equal to grams what is the amount of iron can be deposited by passing a 3 farads of the chart base? 84 grams of iron can be deposited. So this is a question number 17. We have we take option 2 of this question. Now we see question number 18. Question number 18 is asking a current of 2 ampere passing for 5 hours to a molten salts deposited deposits 22.2 grams of the tin. The oxidation state of the tin in the salt. Oxidation state in the tin in the salt means you have to find out what are the n factor for the salt. That n factor for the salt, they have to n factor suppose you identify, you will get the oxidation state of the tin only. Current is given 2 ampere, time is given 5 hours, and the metals are deposited. The tin metal can be deposited how much here? 22.2 grams. So weight of the tin also given on. So which is related to Faraday first law, second law, Faraday first law on. I will write the formula here, Faraday first law, W is equal to, I will write this one, what I can write here, that I will write here, equivalent weight into, this is a, I into D by, I will write this is a, 96510, this W is equal to, I will write here, E equivalent weight into, I into D by, I will write this one, N factor for this, this small equivalent weight into, this is molecular weight, this is n factor into 96500. What is the weight of tin deposited? The weight of tin deposited is 22 point. 22 point is equal to, what is the molecular weight of tin is given? Paratonic weight. Paratonic weight is given, that is 118.69 is given. They given 118.69. What is the current is given? The current is given to have here. And the time is given 5 hours, number 32 seconds here, 5 into 60 into 60 by this is n factor into this is a 965 out of 0. 965 out of 0. So here 0 and 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 so approximately you will get the figure this one you will get a 1.99 this you are taking one mark and value 2 so n factor is 2 operation state means what you can give the positive charge on a so operation state operation state what you get mark you will get plus 2 so what are the operation state of it means here plus 2 how much you are sending means you are have to take the 
two packets only. If you want to take the two packets from the jar, how much deposit it? The deposition of the tin is 22.2 only. So what are the n factor two? The composition C is of SN plus two. So the next question, question number 98. The time required for a current of a three ampere uh, to decompose electrically 18 grams of the water. The asking time. So this is also related to what you can say is related to find the first half of the So what are the formula we have? It is equal to that you can write here uh, Z into I into T by you will write this 96500 that W is equal to you will write here equal to I into T by the N factor into 96500. Now what they are doing here, they want to do the analysis of water, okay? The water I am writing here, H2O giving my sphere. I am writing here O2 plus two electrons are getting on it. So two electron change is there, means how many factors is required here? It requires what now? Two factors. Okay. So they ask me here what here? The uh, time they ask me. What they ask me? Time they ask me here. Generally, what the weight here? We are taking 18 on it. Equal weight means what here? Equal weight, suppose you are writing this is a molecular weight of it. Molecular weight of what? How much? 18 into what is the current is given? 3 ampere on it. Into T by n factor means how many electron changes there? 2. I will write this one 2. Into this is 96500. This you will get 9 only. So T is equal to this is 18 into this is 96500 by 9 into 3. So here 2 times cancel here. This is 2 into 96500 by 3 here. So all together if you want to solve this one, you will get here 64 triple 3 seconds only. But you want to convert it to how many here? 64 triple 3 by you will get here 36 so approximately we get here 17.87 hours only. So we are taking the round value how much? 18 hours is the time count. 18 hours is the time. If you want to think. Okay, so this is how much time is required for this one? 18 hours is required to decompose this 18 grams of the So what are you going to take? You will take option 1 for this question only. Now we can see question number 20. Question number 20. One mole of aluminium deposited by Excludings of electricity passing through aluminium nitrate solution. The number of moles of silver can be deposited by excludings of electricity from the silver nitrate solution. Aluminium nitrate is there, silver nitrate is there. Both are same electrolytes. No, these are two different electrolytes only. So they are passing the electricity through this solution. They are connected in a series only. So this may be related to which one? Fanday second law of electrolysis. So when the different same quantum of electricity can be passed through the different electrolytic solution, the amount of the substance is deposited is directly proportional to equivalent weight of the substance. This is the statement of which one Faraday second law of electrolysis. First they are taking what they are They are taking first here aluminum nitrate solution. I am taking here aluminum nitrate. Aluminum nitrate, what are the formula here? AL NO3 taken with the solid. This aluminum nitrate can be decomposed to give, I will write here AL plus 3 and here 3 and both 3 minus 1. 3 and both 3 minus. If you want to take your aluminum, AL plus 3 gain 3 electrons, okay, it will deposit one aluminum moment. So deposition of aluminum requires how many moles, how many fats of electricity? Here 3 electrons are involved, you can take 3 fats of it. So 1 mole of aluminum. 1 mole of aluminium, okay. So, requires how much charge means here? 3 factors of the charge of it, okay. 1 mole of aluminium, suppose you want to deposit it, okay. That how much required? That is required 3 factors of the charge of 3 factors of the charge. So, this concept I told this is from what I told here. This is a second law of uh, Faraday, second law of the process of Faraday. Second law of 
electrolysis supposing you want to check here then what you can say weight is directly proportional to what weight is directly proportional to what here equivalent weight of weight is directly proportional to equivalent weight of so here i am telling you here three equivalents of aluminum three equivalents of aluminum is equal to i will write this one this is a three equivalent weight of which one silver one why here because they are considered in a series only so weight of the deposit directly proportional to equivalent weight of the substance only so we are getting three current three current means what here three parts of liquid that i am making the form of three current so three current of aluminum is equal to what here three equivalent weight of which one silver one generally so what is the equivalent of silver generally silver what you can say here we will say here uh, what you can say here generally what is the equivalent weight form that equivalent weight is equal to we will say here molecular weight by what you can say here n factor as it is what you can say by n factor only so here uh, n factor is almost generally if you take silver nitrate silver nitrate dissociate to give Ag plus plus NO3 minus here Ag plus gain one electron convert into what ma silver so what is the n factor for silver ma the n factor for the silver is what here one we are taking only so here equivalent weight I am taking here equivalent weight I am taking here equivalent weight is equal to I am taking here moles by n what I am taking ma moles by n I am taking only now here moles is equal to what here Moles is equal to we are writing here equivalent by n factor only. So what are the equivalent weight is there? That is three by n factor is one. How much is there? This is three one. So what is the electricity of the number of moles of silver deposited by silver is equal to from the silver nitrate solution? That is how much that we are taking what here three one. Okay. So again I am repeating. Aluminum nitrate is there, silver nitrate is there. Both are connected in a series by passing electricity. How much? Okay. Uh, Exponents of the electricity of it. If we take aluminum nitrate, it will require three factors of electricity of it. According to Faraday's top second electrolysis, weight is directly proportional to equivalent weight of it. So three equivalent of aluminum is equal to what you can see here. Three equivalent weight of that. Three equivalent of the silver of it. So this silver nitrate, the silver nitrate I am taking here. The silver nitrate I am taking here. Silver nitrate is associated with eighty percent and forty minus. Eighty plus gain one electron forms Ag. That n factor is one. So equal weight is equal to m taken here divided by n factor only. That moles is equal to equal weight by n factor. The equal weight is three by n factor is one. So what we will get? We will get three only. So what the answer for this question? We will take uh, option first one for this uh, question only. Now come to question number twenty one. And the reaction the given of H two plus H three here. Of H two plus this is a gas only. ABCM solid gives rise to a plus. This is aqueous solution plus Cl minus aqueous solution and silver is deposited. So this is the reaction that we take place in the galvanic cell. Only they are asking to write the representation of the cell. They are asking the representation of the cell only. So if you take this one, H two can go and convert it into silver. So here, what is here? Silver is there. Silver solid is there. Silver is there. So generally, silver solution you can take here. Silver metal can be deposited. But you can see some options. Some of the mistake is there. You will see what is the mistake in that one. So this is the reaction is given. This is the gas. This is the aqueous. This is the aqueous. This is solid only. But you can see here generally what the reaction can occur here. This is H2. Generally, it converts into what here? H plus one. H two converts into H plus one. But here, the Ag plus is converted into Ag. Ag plus is converted into Ag. But AgCl we are taking in the form of aqueous solution, not in the form of solid solution. No. If we take an aqueous solution, there is a chance for the production of electricity by absorbing what here? There is a example for galvanic cell only. So here, what I am taking here? I want to take here an aqueous solution. If we take aqueous gas, aqueous, aqueous, aqueous. What here? Solid only. If we take this one, the answer will get it. They ask the representation of the cell one. What how can we represent the cell one? First, we are writing as on. I know this there. We will write here solid only. The other solid only. What we can write here? Cap. We are right. I know here there is one more operation here. H two is based on what here? H plus one. Then we are writing here first. 
what you can take here? Nitinum. So we will take here H2 gas. It is converted to H plus. But here H plus and Cl minus both are there. That H plus and Cl minus will come back to form what mass? They will form what here? It's Cl only. This is the atmosphere solution. This is the part which takes place at oxidation part at the anode. The two ethical rays will present what mass? Solid pitch only. Then after what you can write? You will write the cathode only. What is the cathode you write here? You will write this is A, C, L, this and what is involved in one single component. You see this expression plan is there H2 and HCl solution H2 in the form of gas state and A is CL. I already told you can change into this is solid into the body aqueous, then you will get it is solid down here. So if you change the first half you can see A D A D C L A C L A Z O3. Yeah, A Z and O3 not given. Okay. Second you can see HCl given, okay, but A Z and O3 not given. Third one you can say I have to get CL given, but ADCL in the form of which one solid only, you change that one. ADCL anchor, so ADCL solid only. So just you can change that option 3 like this, you will get option 3. The right answer for this question. Also. Now you can see question number 22. The equation represents the process by which standard reduction potentials of zinc can be defined. Standard reduction potential of zinc they are asking. So reduction means what is zinc undergo reduction? Reduction in the sense gain of electrons only. I will write this one Zn plus 2 gain 2 electrons convert into what now? Zn only. How we can write here? Then we can write here E naught of Zn plus 2 Zn. This represents what? This represents what? Standard reduction potential only. Very reason. You will see option 1 that is zinc solid is given. But here Zn plus in the form of the solution, in the form of aqueous solution. This is the form of which one? Solid only. See the first option. Zn plus 2 solid, no, Zn plus 2 always in the form of aqueous solution. Third, second one you can see Zn in the form of gas, no. Third one you can see Zn in the gas, gain to electron, but Zn they did not mention what here, they did, they did not mention solid uh, gases, but Zn plus 2 is given gases. So. Option 3 you can see again, Zn plus 2 gas is given, that is not correct. Only. Come to the next option 4, Zn plus 2 aqueous, gain to electron, convert into Zn solid. This is the what? This represent standard reduction potential of which one man? zinc electrode. Clear? Now we can see question number 23. A standard hydrogen electrode has a zero electrode potential. Why the standard hydrogen electrode? Because we are assumed to be in the reduction potential of this uh, standard hydrogen electrode. How much here? Zero only. So what are the answer we will take? This electrode potential is assumed to be what? Zero. Come to question number 24. Which is not true for the standard hydrogen electrode? SHE. The hydrogen ion concentration is 1 molar. Yes, if you take the concentration of the acid in that H2 electrode, how much you are taking? We are maintaining at the 1 molar only. Pressure we are maintaining as 1 atmosphere. Temperature we are maintaining at 298 Kelvin only. So, C is second option. Temperature 25. 25 means 273, 298 Kelvin. Pressure of the hydrogen is what? 1 atmosphere given. It contains a metallic conductor which does not absorb hydrogen. It contains a metallic conductor, it absorbs hydrogen. It absorbs what? Hydrogen. Then hydrogen is absorbed, they can be converted into what you have H plus A, we convert into H2 gas only. So, which is not true for the standard hydrogen electrode. First one is true, second one is true, third one is true, and fourth one is what? False only. It does not absorb given, but what is the correct answer? It absorbs only. So, that is the wrong statement above the uh, floor of question number 24. You will take option 4 for this question.